Welcome to Bugang Basics 7. Um, today I'm going to look at a very popular move that Dai has used in many of his videos. Um, and this movement is actually what I will use to introduce the idea of tracing. Uh, tracing involves any movement of a hand path that goes along the body. So I was thinking about it and I think the most basic move that I can introduce and one that people have seen often from Dai would be this one. Okay, so let's look at what my hand path is for this movement. I go up, extension, top of my body. At this point I come down, and my hands actually come behind my head. My elbows come in front of me, and then my hands move down across either side of my body to here. And then the hand path repeats. Alright, looking at one hand, um, I'm sure there are several ways that people do this movement, so just understand that this isn't the only way that this is done. Um, I use a couple of different hand motions, so the first one I will use, again focusing on the part of the bougang that is in front of my thumb and pointer finger, I'm going to start in a pinch here. Um, and I'm going to move into a finger motion. Notice this side of the bougang goes all the way around. And now it's at the top. At this point I do a pinch as if I'm going into wrist movement number one. I bring, as I bring my hand down, I go through wrist movement number one to about here. At this point, my elbow can come in front of my body, and this side of the bougain is going to come in front of me. The point that was in front of my thumb and pointer finger is behind my head, and I'm actually moving into a sliding motion here with my hand. The reason I do that is because I need to keep the bougain in plane. I need to make it look flat for my audience in front of me. I'm going to slide a little bit, my elbow comes in front, and then I come down my body. During this motion, I'm in wrist movement number one. I've pinched again. Once I get to here, I come out, I slide again to here, and I go back into finger motion. Okay, now with the left hand, um, of course, everything is symmetrical. Um, I start in a pinch. I'm focusing here in front of my pointer finger and thumb. I do finger motion up to here. Notice that this side of the bougang is out of the way of my arm. And I come down in wrist movement number one to here, and I slide down the body. At this point I've done wrist movement number one. Then I slide again to here, and finger motion again.
All right, and two-handed. So start in this position. Your fingers are on the bottom, your thumb is on top. You're pinched. You're going to go up, focusing on these two areas in front of the pointer finger and thumb out this direction. Okay? So you're going to pinch finger motion to here. Then you're going to pinch again. As I said before, the hands come behind the head. I'm still in wrist movement number one up to this point. Then I'm going to slide, move my elbows in front of me. The back side of, the bu of both bugang come in front of my body. Then I'm in wrist movement number one to here. Then I slide and then I go back into the finger motion. Down behind the head, slide, wrist movement number one, slide, finger motion. So here's some side perspectives of what I'm doing. Start in my pinch, finger motion, wrist movement number one, slide, wrist movement number one again, up, finger motion, pinch, down, slide, wrist movement number one. Also notice that when I'm doing this movement, uh, my hands are always apart just far enough so that the bouquet can pass through the middle, even when it's going behind my head. <laughs> 